I would go to the gas station. I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood, and I would feel unsafe. And I, you know, attempted carjacking, attempted kidnapping, and at that age, you know, you're just so vulnerable. I was a bodybuilder for 10 years, and then, you know, after that, you kind of find like, okay, what's next? And I did CrossFit, and then when I found jiu-jitsu, I was like, oh, this is it. This is it for me. I just needed a change, something different. Um, something to give me a little bit more confidence, pick me up, and so I decided to give jiu-jitsu a try. I think I, I started jiu-jitsu more so because it, I wanted to improve my strength training. I was already a runner. I did strength training. Someone suggested it, I tried it, and immediately I loved it. It's something that I started exploring after my bout with breast cancer. Once I moved to Texas, I was kind of here by myself. My family was still in Missouri, so I wanted to learn it not only for like myself because I wanted to just for fun, but also for self-defense because you know I am a I'm a young girl in a big city, so it's good to know that. I think what really drew me here in the beginning was that there was always somebody to greet me at the door, and at that time in my life, that's exactly what I needed. I needed a smile. I needed a hi, how you're doing? When you start at a gym and you build that sense of community, it's kind of like going to a new high school. Everyone's already built their cliques, already built their friends, and here I am coming in new. And not once did I ever feel like an outcast. They were very warm, very inviting. Hey, we're gonna do this after, or hey, like we're gonna come train, or I have a tournament coming up. You'll meet such an amazing group of people. I think everybody here is so friendly, and everybody wants to be helpful. And it doesn't take long before before you feel like you fit in and this is for you. There is also like a bond and a connection that I get at this gym um, and to my teammates and my friends too that that kind of just drew me into Team Took a little bit more. They all support each other and they empower each other. And so for me like that, the woman support system and building each other up as equally as they compete and stuff was very important. I'm five months pregnant I'm still training as much as I can. Um, Everybody here will take care of you. Like I have never felt like me and my baby are in danger. I never felt like, oh, they're gonna hurt me. Professor Travis is really good training with um, smaller women and pregnant women. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm confident. I know what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are. The confidence it gave me. I'm already a confident woman, and my confidence, like, through the roof. And. I've been able to use my jiu-jitsu and self-defense in a relationship that turned out to be uh, dangerous. I guess the word is confidence because the more I do this, the more I learned about myself, the more I learned about what I'm capable of. And jiu-jitsu is one of those things where it's like it doesn't matter what, how good something is, how bad something is, I can always like come back to it for some sort of security or comfort or honestly even like a friendship or a bond or just a connection. I, I felt so safe. I felt like I have a space to be creative. I have a space to learn self-defense. I have a space to be a competitor, student, hobbyist. I think that you just have to just break the fear and try one class. I mean, my advice sounds really mean, but it's meant in the best way. Like, you're not that special, jump in. <laughs> like, honestly, like everybody has a really big mountain of issues that we're dealing with. And if this is the thing, that heals you, let it heal you. Team took on three. One, two, three. Team took!